All right, good times versus good times. Head-to-head reactions to the backlash to the Netflix good times that is set to release real soon, folks. Welcome to clicking on this video. Well, I should say thank you for clicking on this video. We are back with some more movie news. I'm Bernard Fields, and we're going to talk a little bit about good times, and as some are people calling it hood times. They're calling it hood times based on uh, this Netflix trailer that was released. It has set ablaze the black community. So since then, we have had uh, some people from both sides of the fence of the original Good Times voice their opinion. And we had some people from the, the remake, or not the remake, I should say the continuation or the reimagining of Good Times. We've had a few of those people come out and to also voice their take, their opinion on the matter when it comes to this new, I can't say improve, but this new take on an old classic, Good Times. So let's see. John Amos, who played James Evans in the uh, in the classic, he has come out and he has voiced his thoughts upon seeing this trailer. And it's very interesting because I thought he was going to go a different route, uh, or I should say a particular route, but he wound up going a different route with his response. It was, a, I guess you can say, a, a little mature, very, very mature. But let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see here by Y Entertainment, Yahoo, uh, we have um, John Amos and we have Bernadette Stat Staten Stanton Stannis. Sorry, <laughs> jack that up. But we have those two, and they look good, right? Like, like, like. Can we just give like pause to the fact that black don't crack? This right here is the definition of that very thing. They look good for their age. I believe that. Uh, John Amos is uh, 84, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Stannis, um, I believe she's like within her, like her 50s. So she she looks she looks good. She looks, she looks real good. All right, so let's go ahead and jump down to what uh, John Amos had to say. So he says, I really can't form an opinion as I have not seen any of the episodes yet. So let me pause right there. This right here is just wisdom. You only get this when you're just lapping the sun, cycle after cycle after cycle, and you've seen some things, you've been around enough to where you're like, I gotta respond a certain type of way, not just because, I have to because of, of who I am. I've, 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 I, got, I got a little wiser. So he said that I can't say because I haven't, not because I can judge based off of the trailer, but he said I haven't seen any episodes, and this is part of his legacy. But he says that, um, as he told The Hollywood Reporter, continuing on, he said, Norman Lear and the entire cast uh, and company set the bar pretty high. I must admit, he did. He set the bar pretty high. He also, I believe, that show opened up doors for us, such as the Cosbys, and therefore it was a domino effect, and we had one good representation of the black family after another. Not a whole lot where it was like overlapping, but I probably say the only time I've ever seen overlap of the of a good black experience was in the 90s. You know, like Family Matter comes to uh, Family Matter comes to mind. And then you also had Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And then I would also throw on there Martin. Those right there were like th th that was the golden age of the early 90s for me. For me. So he continues on. He says uh, they'll all have a hard time reaching that level of entertainment and education. So it's it's like edutainment, if you were to combine both of those together. Um, so it's not just them being educational and being real preachy, but you got to be able to entertain, you know. And how did they do that entertainment? Of course, it's all based upon your own personal perception. It's very subjective. But um, he says, continuing on, he says, I wish them the best. Well said. I'm gonna continue to keep reading, but everything he's saying right now is is so is such the, that character, class, with understanding. Let's continue to keep moving on. He says, "I see people aspiring to do that, but I don't see anybody reaching that goal, especially in the animated version. In an animated version, so we've had some classics like The Proud Family uh, that people always point back towards." 
um, when it comes to, you know, setting like that standard of, of uh, family and education. But I will say that one that came, that came close, uh, if not, in my opinion, better in some ways was the boondocks was the boondocks, which is the reason why I believe uh, they initially went 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 with Carl Jones is because of his brand of education and entertainment. But he quit early in the game, like didn't even get any writing done within it at all. Hasn't seen any episodes, didn't even get to episode one when it came to the writing. All right. But then uh, we have moving on. Uh, Stannis, she also replied as well. And she said, you know, probably a lot of people don't know how Hollywood works. Let me stop right there. That is the that is so true. A lot of people that are voicing their opinions are on the outside looking in and they have no idea how the sausage is made at all, at all. Not to say that they don't have a right to an opinion, but their opinion um, in some cases doesn't hold that much weight. I ain't going to say it doesn't matter, but it sometimes doesn't hold that much weight. Um, continuing on, it says a lot of times uh, you use a certain name to open up the door for a new show, you know, you, aka name dropping. You have an idea, you're like, hey, this combined with this, we're going to get this. And then you name drop. I can see this person with it. I got this person attached to it. And then it helps to sell it, it helps to push it along. That's how kind of like Hollywood works, uh, especially nowadays. Um, and then it says that could be what it is, she said. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of people will be a little confused at first because they have to uh, have to think that this is us. That is us. And I did uh, initially when I first saw it. I was like, is this is, is this the, the kids? Is this like JJ and Thelma? But then as I, I did, I, I paid attention. I was like, oh, no, like, no, th this is not them. This has to be like like the second generation away from uh, the James, the Evans family. And then. um and they think, oh, my God, that's got to be Thelma, JJ and Michael. And then you come in there and you don't see anything like that. And we didn't. We didn't see anything like that at all. Um, and then she also added and uh, said here, I did a little voice for them. All right. So. Not to say that she knew all about the route that they were taking, but she was approached by them. And she she lent her voice to, a, 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 I guess, a character here or there. And she said, I, but I don't know uh, uh, it was going to be the way it is. She said, I thought it was going to be different. But I think they did that because they knew that their show was going to be like this. I guess they figured out. I mean, I guess they figured if you put us in there, it wouldn't look so bad or whatever. Um Nah, it, it, it didn't it didn't soften the blow at all. If anything, it caused people to scratch their head even more or people got more outraged. People said, how can how can these people turn their back on such a legacy and taint it? And then you have a very small group of people. I'm included in that small group of people who are like, wait a second. Wait a second. This is just a trailer. This is just them showing us a uh, one side of of the story and a little bit of the other side of the story. Like they don't want to be maybe too preachy or, or maybe they're trying to reel in a certain group of people, but it seemed like it was going to be no way you were going to win in this one, unless you were just to replicate the original and they weren't going to do that. All right. And then they said here for the record, I was, uh, this is what Carl had, uh, has said, he said, for the record, I was involved with Good Times animated series in the very, very beginning, but due to creative differences, I had to walk away. That's what he had said uh, last week. So going back up to what uh, Stan has said, she said, so I guess uh, they figured if you put us in there, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't look so bad or whatever. Um, it's kind of like, a uh, what, 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 did I, what did I say before? Uh, it was a bait and switch. Is that what I said about maybe uh, three videos away uh, since this uh, this topic? I said that, yep, I believe that it's a bait and switch. I think that they are showing us all of the, the ratchet stuff and they're saving all the educational stuff for later because let's face it, most people love to watch a train wreck. They love it. They love it. They won't look away. 
Most won't call 911. They'll give a, a, a really lame attempt to be like, oh my God, stop. But nah, that wasn't, <laughs> that, that, that wasn't strong enough to be able to stop this train wreck. And I feel like a lot of people are doing that right now. I think that they're that they're waiting for this to come out. They're going to watch it behind closed doors. They're going to because because it's like it's like right up to that moment. You really don't know if you're not going to watch it or not. You may talk a big game, but then when you are confronted with the opportunity and you're by yourself, some people are like talking with their chest. I'm not going to watch this. I ain't going to give it my time, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, what's going to not lie is the numbers. The numbers don't lie. These people are going to come out of the woodwork, watch it in secrecy because it's not like your name is going to be attached to a particular number, but it's like behind closed doors, they're going to be able to look at those stats and they're going to scroll through and they're going to be like, man, this, these people really must like it because they, I, I, I don't see that much of a fall off. But let's continue on because Yvette uh, Nicole Brown, she responded. She also responded. She said, uh oh, here we go. She said this on, on Twitter. She said, this version of Good Times is edgier and more ir um, irreverent than the good times of our childhood. So she grew up on this, all right? She says, but it's still a show about family fighting the system and working to make things better despite where you start out in the world. That's 100%, that 100% lines up with my values. That should give us a little bit of rest, a little bit of ease of, of, of mind and of heart to be like, you know what, guys, maybe we overreacted. And I said that. I said, man, you know what? I think people need jerk react to this. And people are like, oh my God, we need to sign a petition. There's a, allegedly a petition out there that people are signing to, to get this canceled. Folks, I'm letting you know now, it is not going to get canceled. If anything, it's going to get greenlit for season two. After two weeks, I guarantee it's going to be out there in the news that that uh, that Good Times got greenlit for season two. You heard it here first. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. But then she also goes on to say, she said, I spent my whole life shining a light on the things that matter and calling out the systems that can uh, that keep a boot on our necks. She wrote, at times I take paths and projects that do the same, even if they are irreverent or risky. Coming from me as if that's wrong is a fool's errand. Well said, well said. And who knows better than a person who was right there in the mix in the mix, she's telling us, like, I, guys, I listen. This is not going against my my values. Number one, number two, I stuck throughout the whole project, and number three, I'm not going to steer you guys wrong, even if I got to play the villain, so to speak. I am I I am here for us. I'm here for you. We should be able to go like, whew, that was close. That could have been bad, but we're not. There's still a lot of people, despite even watching this video, despite even knowing uh, that these things have been said about people who are in the mix, who are in the mix, they're still going to hold on to that whole, that, 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 that initial reaction, which is, this is the devil. This is horrible. This is pathetic. This, now, now you can see why, you know, they, they hate us as black people and, and the man. And I mean, like I even had people, look, look, let, me, let, me, let me tell you how silly some people are. I've had people write comments and I've read these comments that said that after knowing that black people wrote this, they said, you know what? Nah, I still believe that somebody white wrote this. They had to, they had to. And I'm like, that does, it doesn't add up. They even try to say Seth MacFarlane wrote this. Like, oh yeah, Seth had to be in the rooms and he had to be directing this and he had to be, no, he didn't have to be doing any of that, any of that. But only time will tell when this drops, and I believe it drops on uh, April 12th, when this drops, I will be watching each and every episode more than once, more than once. And for the purpose of coming back to you all with the report to let you know that it's either a thumbs up or it's a thumbs down, I'm going to keep it one. Hundred. I'm not going to gaslight this project. If it's bad, it is bad. 
you know, but I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys think that this is changing the narrative a little bit? Do you think that people are going to be a little bit more open to 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 be openly uh, to be open about watching this? Because let's face it, like I said before, people are going to watch it behind closed doors. I believe there, there, there's a group of people. I don't know what percentage of it, but there's a group of people out there that are straight perping, perping, perping. They're doing this. Oh, this is horrible. This is pathetic. Why would they do this to us? They don't. They don't understand that we don't want this. We don't want this. Go home. Let me go to Netflix real quick. Ain't nobody here. Guess I'll go ahead and watch it. Click. Laughing, he ha. Oh, 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 oh my God, it's so funny. Tears. Oh, oh, they're clutching their pearls. Oh my God, that's crazy. I can't believe it. Oh, 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 oh. having having a good old time, just laughing their butts off on their couch. Watching it on their on their phones, on their devices, on their TVs, laying in the couch is getting so good. They in the shower. Oh, oh my God! This is oh, oh, this is so good. This is so good. And then as soon as they get back online, oh, this is horrible. This is the way. This is the reason why. Come on, y'all. It's it's okay to admit that you're wrong. It's okay to admit that you're a little curious. But don't be out here trying to dog pile on something that you haven't even. You have you don't you you can't possibly give a full synopsis based off of a trailer. You just can't. Now I will say that there are trailers out there that give away the full story. We know that those do exist, but you didn't get that within this. If anything, what you get again was a bunch of bu- bunch of foolishness, ratchetness up in the front, but on the backside, that was that redemptive quality where you could tell, like, man, there's that voice of reason again. This ain't gonna be like Beavis and Butthead. Like when Beavis and Butthead was out, I didn't hear nobody protesting about that. Right? Not at all. They was the worst. Absolute worst. And people loved it. They ate it up. We all ate it up. Black people ate it up. White people ate it up. We ate that mess up. But I wonder, could could, could Beavis and Butthead fly today? Could they actually drop that exact same show? format and everything could that could that work today or would that get canceled would people be like man i don't want to see that we don't want to see that that's a horrible representation of us <laughs> until i see a black beavis and butthead out there causing chaos that's like two rallies out there that's like that that's like riley and then and, and uh and what's his name la milton if you if you had a show that was called rally and la milton would you watch it <laughs> Riley and La Milton, would you watch it? I think a lot of people will watch it. I think a lot of people would be like, man, they would be lined up like, man, did you see that La Milton and Riley show episode last night? They was crazy for that because we secretively, we, we like it. We like it. I never laughed so hard at two boys that was 12 years old being that bad. What was he doing? He was like, I like doing bad things. But, but, but bad things with my friend, so what, what was it? Uh, uh, smoking cigarettes, carjacking, smoking cigarettes, fighting, and everything. That that boy was demonic, utterly demonic. And they and they they all they they about all right just outright just said that because in the end they treated him like Michael Myers, like he fell off the cliff, off the school. Spoilers: He fell off the school, and then they thought that he was dead because they leaned over. And then his body wasn't there. Then they kind of showed him running down the street. That's what it was with Michael Myers. He fell. And then it's like the, the camera cut away. The camera cut, the camera cut back. And then he wasn't there. And it was like, the boy's bad. He demonic. He demonic. There's so many things within the boondocks you could just point out and be like, that's a bad representation of black people. That's a bad representation of black people. But you know what made it okay? It's what John Amos said. He said that there was the entertainment portion. Then it was the education portion. I called that from the very beginning, y'all. I said it here, not first, but I said it here before all this stuff even came to light. I said, you got, you got to have the bad guy. You got to have the, you got to have the negativity first to be able to appreciate when the voice of reason comes along. And the voice of reason is there. Let's keep it 100. If anybody can prove me wrong, that 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 young lady that's in the trailer is also ratchet 
and horrible. Man, I've been done gave you all a million dollars because you can't. She's the voice of reason. So with that being said, um, I really do appreciate you all um, tuning in to my, I believe this is the second or maybe third, I don't know, um, news, movie news. We got movie news, y'all. So uh, be on the lookout for some more new movie news. I will be doing reviews on Good Times, so be sure to be checking out those videos when they drop. I'm going to create separate playlists for those people who want to just only focus on that. You can click on that and to your heart's content, watch all that. But while you're here, go ahead and look at some of my other reactions to some movie trailers. I'm sure you would like it. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you all think about this. Am I, am I, am I missing something? Am, am I delusional here? Like, like, am I delusional? Is John Amos delusional? Is Nicole delusional? Like, like are, are we all just like not seeing what you're seeing? Let me know. I just, I'm just curious. I want to know. And then also give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell because I do. I drop frequently, often, each and every day. And until next time, remember to always put forth your best. Peace in and confusion out.